Hi, are you looking to supercharge your data-driven applications with new generative AI capabilities like Google Palm 2? We're gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how you can build new AI-powered applications in Google Cloud using Postgres databases that you already love and rely on. We will show you how you can integrate the Postgres extension PG Vector with Langchain and large language models. Vector embeddings are a way of representing data that makes it easy to search for the most similar or relevant data using approximate nearest neighbor search algorithms. This fundamental technology can not only power user experiences like product recommendations or in-application searches, but it's also a critical primitive in more advanced machine learning use cases like simulating long-term memory for LLMs. Vector embeddings are used in many AI applications, including some of Google services like Google Photos, Google Lens, and YouTube. You can learn more about the vector embeddings in the description link below. Cloud SQL for Postgres and AlloyDB for Postgres both support the PG Vector extension, which enables storing and querying vector embeddings in your Postgres database. This allows you to easily build AI-enabled experiences in your applications on top of your real-time operational data. We're going to dive into a notebook that will guide you through creating an AI-powered app using PG Vector. After completing all the steps, you'll have a good understanding of how to use the PG Vector extension. You're also going to get a hands-on view of using the Langchain open source framework to develop applications powered by LLMs. And finally, you'll learn about Google Cloud's powerful Palm models that we make available through Vertex AI. This notebook uses an example of an e-commerce company that runs an online marketplace for buying and selling children's toys. The team wants to add new generative AI experiences in their e-commerce applications for both buyers and sellers. For buyers, we want to build a new AI-powered hybrid search where users can describe their needs in simple text, as well as applying filters on things like price. For sellers, we want to add a new AI-powered content generation feature where they'll get auto-generated description suggestions for new products that they want to sell. The data set for this notebook has about 800 toy products and is sampled and created from a larger public retail data set available at Kaggle.com. We've already done all the pre-work of installing the required packages into our notebook, setting up our Google Cloud environment, so we can jump right into the good parts. You can still see all the setup instructions in the notebook, though. Stepping into the notebook now, we download the data set from a web URL and store it into a pandas data frame. You can see the first 10 rows of the pandas data frame as an example of the data we will load into our Postgres table. The next step is to save this pandas data frame in our Postgres table. We first create a table called products, and then copy the pandas data frame into the table. Next, we'll generate vector embeddings using a text embedding model. The first step to do that is to split long product description text into smaller chunks. We need to split large descriptions into chunks so they can fit in a single API request. We use the character text splitter from the Langchain library to split the description into chunks of 500 characters each. The next step is to generate a vector embedding for each chunk by calling an embedded generation service. We're using the Vertex AI text embedding model, which outputs a 768 dimensional vector for each chunk. We have loaded the generated vector embeddings into a data frame, and you can see the first five rows here. Next is to use the PG Vector extension for storing the generated embeddings in the Postgres database. The PG Vector extension introduces a new vector data type, which allows us to directly save a vector embedding through a simple insert statement in Postgres. To do this, first we create the extension in the database. Then we create a table called product embeddings that has a column of type vector. Using an insert statement, we can store this vector directly into the Postgres table. Now we've extracted the semantic knowledge of our product database and stored it into a vector table using the PG vector extension. Now we can show you how you use this semantic knowledge to answer complex natural language queries from users. For our first use case, we want to build an AI-curated hybrid contextual search that combines the natural language text with regular relational filters. For example, a grandparent wants to use the AI-powered search to find an educational toy for their grandkid that fits their budget. They may enter a query like, I want to buy a fun toy for my grandkid that teaches new skills. Your application could also add additional filters based on operational data, like price or real-time inventory to improve results. 
the first step is to generate the vector embeddings for that user query. Here, we call the embeddings model from the application, and the next step is to use the PG vector extension to find similar products. We use the similarity search operator from the PG vector extension to find product vectors that are closer in distance to the user query. Additionally, we also specify regular query filters on price in the same SQL query. By using PG vector, we can now integrate the power of relational databases with vector search operations. After running the code snippet, we found a product that closely matches our user query. After finding similar products and their descriptions using PG Vector, we will use this context to generate an informative response from a large language model for the user query. Individual product descriptions can be long and may not fit within the input prompt limit for an LLM model. So we use the MapReduce chain from the LangChain framework to generate and combine short summaries of similarly matched products. The combined summaries are then used to build a high-quality prompt for an input in the LLM model. For our prompt, we instruct the LLM to include the name, price, and features of every toy in the summary, and then we instruct the LLM to answer the user query using the combined summaries. We can even have the LLM output the answer in markdown format with features listed as bullet points. Let's go ahead and run this now. There, we have our answer, fully formatted. For our second use case, we want to add creative content generation that uses knowledge from our existing data set. For example, a seller on the retail platform wants to use the AI-powered content generation to create a detailed description of their new product. They can enter a new product description in a few words, like a bicycle with brand name Roadstar bike for kids that comes with training wheels and helmet. Like the first use case, we will use the PG Vector similarity search operator to find an existing product description that closely matches our new product. We will use this existing product description as a creative prompt to our LLM model for generating a new detailed description. Amazing! By leveraging the power of LLMs, we can generate a detailed description of an entirely new product using our existing knowledge of bicycle products. And that's it. If you aren't going to keep tinkering, don't forget to delete your database instance. We showed you just two examples of powerful features that you can create by combining LLMs and databases. Generative AI is a powerful paradigm shift in application development. We're excited to see what you build. Find a link to the collab we used today in the description below. Thanks for watching.